A memorable job for me was a red call, but should probably have been a purple call because important information was left out from the caller to dispatch. When we arrived on scene, we found a gentleman who had fallen down 15 concrete steps in his flat stairwell. There was a huge amount of blood around his head, so initially I was thinking many broken bones, trauma to the head and questioned if he was breathing. Someone had put him in the recovery position, however the patient was not breathing. It was unclear the duration of time that the man had been unconscious for. However, based on his complexion, the dryness of his eyes and onlooker guesses, it had been roughly 30 minutes. I helped the paramedic move the patient to a better position and did a rapid trauma assessment. The technician began CPR. We secured an airway with an eye gel and ET tube. I took over CPR for roughly 30 minutes until critical care arrived where they applied a Lucas device. I then moved on to bag valve masking and noticed that the bag became harder to squeeze and there was an increased saturation of blood in the breathing filter. I remembered these being traits of tension pneumothorax and hemothorax. I told critical care and the paramedic who proceeded to do needle decompressions on both sides of the patient, with one side oozing blood and the other expelling air. But this didn't fix the problem. Critical care proceeded with an open finger thoracostomy on both sides and ended up getting his finger stuck between the patient's broken ribs. The patient's heart rate was only about six beats per minute and only had about six resps per minute, which was not enough to sustain life. I inspected the back of the patient's head and it was boggy and saturated with blood. We crashed him into resus, where they worked on him for over an hour. He had x-rays and CT scans because we thought he had multiple broken bones. However, he did not have a broken neck, a broken spine or dislocated shoulders as we thought. He only had a fractured skull from his fall and broken ribs from CPR. After two weeks in the ICU, the gentleman sadly passed away.